Alright, uh, welcome to Shabuti Uganda eLearning. Uh, my name is Nelson and in today's uh, video we are going to make a continuation uh, trying to see uh, the questions uh, that are always asked uh, as far as probability. <coughs> so we are able to look at uh, various examples and we explained uh, uh, the, the probability meaning and also we did some examples, we worked out with some numbers uh, please, if you didn't uh, watch out uh, that, uh, be able to check out on our playlist and also be able to uh, uh, watch the video and uh, before you take out, before you take on this, so that we can move at the same what, the same uh, page. Okay, so we are going to try out uh, uh, different questions uh, that are always asked within uh, probability, and we are going to see uh, how do they always uh, test. And how do they always ask uh, when it comes to probability? Let's get started and see how uh, we can solve out these questions. Okay, let's uh, try out. So these are the questions that we are having. Uh, our question one is saying uh, when a coin is toasted, uh, what is the probability that a tail will show up? Uh, then a head will show up. Uh, now, when you look at this question, uh, which is asked, it is one of our examples uh, that we did. Uh, so, we shall uh, direct go to our question 2, uh, which is saying, uh, when a die is toasted, uh, what is the probability that uh, an even number appears on top? Alright, so <coughs> uh, this is part of the questions that we need to uh, think about and answer. So you're going to answer it together as we discuss, as we understand uh, what exactly it needs. So here they are talking about a die. I hope everyone knows uh, what we call a die. Uh, those who have ever played uh, those games, uh, they know what a die means. Uh, then uh, they are telling us that uh, when someone tosses out a die, uh, what is the probability that an even number is going to appear on top? Uh, part B, they are saying, uh, what uh, part B they are saying, what is the probability that 2 appears on top, uh, 3 appears on top, uh, the 5th also appears on what? Appears on top. Okay, so in attempting this question of ours, uh, in attempting this question of ours, to this okay let's see how I attempt to do this okay let's see how we can attempt to that question okay uh, so this is the question where we are, uh, this is uh, where we are going to attempt our question from. This is where we are going to attempt our question from. Alright, uh, now uh, let me get a pen here, uh, such that we can be able now to start uh, answering this. Uh, remember they have told us uh, that we are going to I have our die assuming this is our die okay uh, but remember this die of ours uh, is having a variety of sides okay assuming that is our die okay uh, so this die is having uh, uh, different sizes and uh, <coughs> uh, within this die Within this die, uh, what we know it is having, it is having, um, it is having uh, faces, okay? Because when someone tosses out a die, uh, it has faces. So uh, in these faces, uh, it is when we are having these numbers, okay? So uh, let's assume uh, the number of faces, uh, because uh, remember we are looking at probability. Uh, we are looking at what? at probability we are looking at probability 
uh, where we said that our probability uh, we use a formula which says the number of chances okay the number of chance the number of the number of chances over the number of what of the sample space okay let me write here the number of what the number of chances uh, then over uh, the samples what uh, the number of sample space number of sample uh, sample what sample space okay uh, let me uh, abbreviate it in that way uh, now uh, remember here that someone is going to toss out or what someone is going to toss a die uh, this is our die Okay, this is a die and this die is having what we call um, uh, it, is, it is having what we call sides okay so now here the chances the chances that we are going to have are the possible what are the possible outcomes okay they are the possible what uh, they are the possible outcomes so we should be expecting that the pos in the possible outcomes we are having the, these are now the faces we are having our face one, our face two, our face three, our face, our face four, uh, our face five, and also our face what? Our face six. So uh, these are the faces that are always on the what? On the die. You can toss it and a one comes. Okay. So these are the possible what? The possible outcomes. So we can now we now know that the possible outcomes are how many? We have one, two, three, up to what? Up to six. So these are the possible what? The possible outcomes. So uh, now what they are told, what they are telling us about uh, the other question? Uh, this question. Let's have a look at. Uh, they are telling us uh, that uh, when a die is tossed. Uh, what is the probability that an even number appears on the top so now also that one takes us to uh, uh, for us to be able to understand uh, what we call an even what an even uh, an even number okay let's uh, here we are here we are uh, we are now saying uh, that what is the probability that an even number is going to appear on the what on the top so uh, when we come back here on our faces okay uh, these are the numbers that are what uh, that are shown uh, we have even numbers but they are not only one we have a two which is an even number uh, from the definition as we learned uh, uh, them in our recent videos uh, we have what we call even numbers uh, we have a two we have a four we have a what we have a six so uh, now we should be able to understand uh, uh, the even numbers how many even numbers are we having we have one we have a two we have a three so that means even numbers even numbers they are going to be three even what even numbers even numbers are going to be equal to uh, three okay that means also uh, these remaining numbers are also going to be equal to uh, also three okay so uh, that means it is giving us now uh, it is giving us a chance that in uh, the even numbers uh, that that uh, when someone tosses it is going to bring uh, the uneven number that means we shall be able to now take our chance mm? the chance that we have is an even what is an even uh, number so we are saying uh, the even numbers it is not only one we cannot just only take a two or a four or a six all these are even numbers but we have to now count them uh one two three there are three even numbers when someone tosses is either going to come up with a two or he's either going to come up with a four which is an even number or he's either going to come up with a what with a six so uh, that's why we are particularly saying that we are going to take uh, the number of these even numbers which are, they are what they are three then 
uh, after knowing now the number of these even numbers now the possible outcomes already we know that uh, the possible outcomes is going to be this uh, the faces now okay the faces uh, of this die and how many faces are they we can see that now the faces we are having six what uh, we have six uh, faces so those are the uh, possible outcome you will either come up with the uh, first face or the second face or the third face or the six what the six face so that means uh, f the probability that someone is going to uh, uh, toss a die and come out with an even number is going to be equal to is going to be equal to uh, the even number which is three okay how do we get three we said uh, we have very many even numbers within our within our uh, within our <coughs> chances okay so we said we have two as an even number we have a four as an even number also a six as an even number so that means we shall be able now to say that the probability of taking an even number which is three because even numbers are how many they are three so that means uh, we have uh, our chances of an even number where there are three out of uh, out of uh, the faces that uh, we are having, uh, which is what? Which is six, okay? Which is six. Uh, so this simply means uh, that when we now divide this by uh, what? Three by three, we get a one. And also when we divide uh, three by six, we get... Okay, well how, how many do we get? Three by six, that is two. Okay. So uh, we can now say that the probability for someone to toss and comes out with an even number is going to be a what? Is going to be a one out of two. It is going to be a half. All right. So also we come back to our second uh, question. Our second what? Our second question. Our second uh, question. They are saying, uh, what is the probability that uh, when someone tosses a die and there comes, uh, there appears two appears on the top, two appears on the what? Two appears on the top. Uh, let's look at this. They are saying two what? Two is going to appear on uh, on the top. Okay, we are here. What is the probability that our two is going to appear on the what? Appear on the top. Two appears on the what? Appears on the top. Uh, as we have said that these are the even numbers. These are the faces. When someone tosses, uh, either two is going to appear and either a four is going to appear. Either six is going to appear. So that this simply means that when our two uh, appears on the top, how many twos do we have uh, on our face? Okay, how many uh, how many uh, faces of two do we have on our on our die? Someone who has an answer. Someone with an answer. Okay, so. Uh, we can see that on our face, uh, when someone tosses and a two comes, then we are going to have uh, one face, okay? That is going to be, we are going to be having our one face. So that means the number of chances, hmm? the number of chances for someone to come up with a two. Okay, the number of chances... Uh, out of the out of the what the total uh, the total what uh, the, the number of sample spaces the number of sample spaces are going to be equal to uh, the one face okay the one face because we are only having in our die we only have one side which is having two okay so that means we are going to use uh, the face that face which is a two then 
uh, out of what? Out of the possible outcomes, the sample spaces. Remember, we are having six what? Uh, six faces. One with the two, one with the three, one with the four, one with the five, and one with the what? One with the six. So that means uh, the chances that we are having is one out of what? One out of face. I mean one out of six. That means when someone tosses this die, uh, it is either going to see to show him one face. It can't show uh, a face which is having two and a face which is having what? Which is having a three. So that's why we are saying it is going to show, it is going to be, the chances are going to be one out of what? Out of six. Then also uh, we are talking about another one was about, uh, another one was about um, the three faces, okay? Three faces. Three what? Uh, three faces. Three what? Three faces. Uh, let's look at the three faces. Uh, if there are three faces, okay? If there are three faces that are appearing, we are having a three being appearing on the what? A three appearing on the top. So uh, this simply means that we shall also still go back and uh, check out our faith which is having three. Remember there are also no other uh, faces that are having three because we only have one side uh, that, ha that is having a three. That face. So that means uh, this is also going to be what? It's also going to be uh, one out of six because it is only one what? Only one face. So that means uh, the sample, the chances are going to be one also out of what? Out of six. And also when we also deal with uh, the one that uh, that is having five appearing on what? Uh, five appears on, appears on, uh, appears on the top. Five appearing on the top. Uh, we are also going to be having five, okay? Uh, that means we have only one face because they are they are, they are only one uh, face which is having uh, the five. So that that is also going to be one out of what? One out of six. Okay. So uh, that simply means we shall now be able to uh, uh, solve our numbers, and we shall also be now be able to uh, understand and see that when you are given uh, a probability, you have to think about the faces, uh, for example, this die that they have uh, given us. Simply that's how we can be able to uh, solve and uh, work out numbers that are concerned with uh, probability. For now, let me say thank you very much for, have, for being part of this uh, uh, lesson. Uh, please be able to check out on some uh, recent uh, lessons that we have uh, conducted within your abscess and also be able to uh, subscribe with us uh, such that you can get some more upcoming what some more upcoming lessons thank you very much have a nice moment stay blessed